same principle. Really wide sole. It does a fantastic. Yes. Right, okay, thank you for joining the Average Golfer. Back down here at Conway Golf Club, and alongside me, I've got Lewis Johnson, PGA professional. Glad to see you back on the channel, Lou. Oh, glad to be here. Been on a bit of a sabbatical? Yeah, summer holidays, mate. Summer holidays. Playing, been been play, playing a few tournaments. Playing some there. proper golf. Anyway, you're back with me this morning. It's a really windy Conway, and that camera is going to blow over any minute now, so I'll make this very brief. We're going to be looking at the new tailor made high toe 60 degree. Big foot. Bigfoot Wedge. Bigfoot We're already wedge. laughing about the name and we'll get to that a bit later. I'm going to move before that camera blows over. But before we start the test, there's a story I need to tell you. And it's about professional golfers and very good golfers and their already preformed opinion of the tailor made Bigfoot. So, this tail that I'm telling you about. So, basically, last week, this golf club arrives in the post and I'm about to go out and play in a four ball that night. Sticks the club in the bag, no intention of using it, and I'm playing with, bear in mind, two pros and a lad off two. Plays golf, third hole, gets in a bit of a position. I thought, you know what, I'll give that yeah, club a bit of a go. And it went okay. Throughout the round, I play it four, five, six times from different places, in and out of bunkers. And who you with don't, doesn't know. Doesn't know they don't know where it is, but at some point now they're starting, so what club did you play there? And I'm not having a bit of a poke around in a bag and having a look. They know I review golf clubs and what have you, so they're having a look, and they're having a bit of a laugh really because they've seen this club. It's a bit on a clumpy side, it's called Bigfoot, and I think they're really taking the mick. The moral of the story is, is by the 17th, all three of them are trying this club, and they're all suggesting they put it in the bag. Standard position, uh, so all you're playing from a normal wire, I suppose. Yeah, probably not where we'd play a 60, but. Well, that's the interesting bit in the video, is you what can... I want to look at is like you, the versatility of the club. So, like you say, you'd probably play a flatter club for a longer, a longer shot like that. It's easy, it's easy though, isn't it? It's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I like the fact that it hasn't changed at all. You know, it, for for me, it's from the top. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. From yeah. Just a just a normal high so, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When you're when you've got this above the ball, you don't see anything. You don't see you, you don't see anything the, from the top line that suggests yeah. that big chunky shot. Because when it's on, you know, you imagine if it's on a display or sat in a golf bag. Yeah. You know, a lot of people are going to be put off by the visuals, it, you know, aren't they? Yeah, you know, well, it looks like a looks like a big club, looks like a chunky cavity backy, you know. But actually, when you put it down, it makes no difference whatsoever. No. And I think they've done it when you open it up slightly as well. It doesn't. It, it, the same applies. Easy. The interesting one on the second shot was the claim where you can chunk it. I hit that quite heavy on the second shot, which come up short. But uh, 
it in effect did did what it said on the tin. Do you know what I mean? Oh, for a 60 from that range, that's a good shot. It's, it's, a, it's like I said, we need to try a number of different positions, but it's, uh, yeah. What I like to do on the course is try and back up, you know, are they, the fact that you're, they're saying that like, you can't fat it, that wider sole, is it impacting is it on? Cat, or is it a lot harder? Well, I think a lot harder. It does, it's one of them, like I said, where, um, for me, the interesting thing, does that soul, does that soul help or not? It's that simple, in the end, really, it's a, the wedge, a 60 degree wedge is a 60 degree wedge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only difference in, forgetting all little bits of tech that are in it, the big difference is the width of that soul. And the question is, for an average golfer, is the width of the soul a positive or a negative? Because it is, isn't it? That's what it boils down to. You know, it's, it's not about... It's not going to... This club is not going to make you a good wedge player. It's not going to make you a good bunker player. It's not going to make... It's just going to make your bad shots better. It's, yeah, it's whether or not it can help you in that situation as being one of them, in a bunker, can this width of soul be a help? Obviously, I pulled that left, so it was a bit of a... Uh, I got a better result than I should have done, but... Um, the, the thing, sorry, what I was saying was interesting thing... Yeah, I could, have, I could have claimed that, but I didn't. I pulled it left. Um, the interesting thing for me, again, what you're, the question you're asking, tight lie, does that put any... Does it give me more confidence or less? And again, it's more confidence, that's the thing. More, more, more of a, a clip on the back of the ball, and, I, and you know I, I'd be a little bit more aggressive with it. I'm comfortable with them wedges, but what I'm saying is with this, I've got no concerns. I still might mess it up, but I've got no concerns. That when I stand over the ball, I'm not thinking I'm going to chunk this. I'm going to thin it already, and that's after a, co a couple of rounds with it. That's more like the shot I tried to play the first time round. But again, stop and bounce, we're slightly into the wind, aren't we? Yeah. So you're not expecting it to do much. You'd have to, that's why I said for me, wrong club, wrong situation. But it just, what I was trying to do was demonstrate from the tight lie. It's about confidence. That's the big deal with it. Right, as ever, I always uh, enjoy your feedback. So uh, comments down below on, I'm looking for positives and negatives about the tailor-made Haito Bigfoot Wedge. Hey, mate, that was hard work, wasn't it? Would, would you walk past it in the shot? That's a good question from Lewis there. Would you walk past it? How many of you would look at this wedge and think, do you know what? I'm going to have me a bit of that. So a bit of a shot, Louis. This is something you perhaps might use this in? Yes. So basically, if you can't pick it up on camera, there's a bit of a carry there and there's a ridge. So being able to fly it onto the top tier yeah. and stop it is a big thing. Like yeah. you know, I feel as though I've got that control to do it with it. To be honest, which is good. So tight lie. That six sole. Fly it all the way up there. Same place. It's actually again. stopping a bit more than I thought, but yeah. which is you no. Know, I'm flying it all the way there. So in terms of sort of feel and distance control is great, but it's nipping as well. So. I, I, in, in terms of performance, I can't find it. I can't find a, a negative on it, really. What about what about when it's sat behind the ball? Are you seeing? You're, you're not seeing obviously the big thick sole, no. are you? No, it looks like it just looks like the normal high toe. Yeah. Just you know, it very much is. It's it's not a it's not a different club. It would just be the different sole. But for me, people are going to be put off this by how it looks on the shelf. Oh, when it's sat like this, it would put me off. There's no two ways about it. it was a, when you showed it me, I think it was a bit of a. Well, I think it looks like, I mean, without being rude, it looks like a beginner's game improvement club in terms of that thick sole. Absolutely. That's maybe how it, you term it. It's not just thick, it's the, it is a really wide yeah. 
you know, when it's sat on the shelf like that, I can see why people would just walk past it yeah. and dismiss it. But um, when you put it down, I, I'm really happy. And again, it, it's you know, we're we're very much performance based, aren't we? Now I've actually got it out here. I think the the laughing and the the kind of you know, obviously the name doesn't do it any favours. You know, no. if you if you were going to walk past it because of the look, and then someone told you it was called Bigfoot, I think that's. So from the rough there. Yeah, just trying to nestle a few balls down. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not there sitting okay, but I just wanted to see what it's like from, like I said, from the rough and something that... You think uh, with the chunkier sole, it, yo... It's not getting stuck. I mean, it, it's yeah, exactly, literally gliding yeah. through it. And again, that's what I found the other day out. Well, I played at Conway in the competition and that's the thing, the versatility of the club was the thing I liked, is that it plays great from bunkers, which they're suggesting it's certainly a bunker club. Uh, but from lies like this from the rough, but then also clips that you've seen nipping it off a tight lie. So the other big thing for me, the big tick in the box on the club is the versatility of it, because I think as many clubs as you can have in the bag that you can use in a variety of situations, there's surely got to be a big positive. Yeah, good distance. Good distance. I mean, we're we're, uh, we're obviously we're flighting these. These are into the wind again, so you're expecting them to stop. We're playing 70 yards is where I'm at right now. Uh, so sort of, uh, I don't know, maybe three quarter swing with it. But again, that was a tidy shot. That one. Tidy shot. Plenty of control. Good ball flight. Like I said, and and again playing from another different type of lie and a different type of shot. I think this is about as big as you'd want to take on in terms of distance. A 70 yard shot. Just pop it nice it, and close there. So yeah, well again, just play a little bit further forward and able to just throw that ball right up into the air, like you said on the previous hole, knowing into the wind that it's gonna hold it up and stop. But uh, I'd rather swap places and you have a go from here as well, if you yeah. don't mind. That's your question while you're down there. In terms of the width of the sole, what's a negative? I'll rephrase it. Is there, is there a negative? Well, I'll rephrase the question. From a average golfer's perspective, so maybe not yourself, an average no, no. golfer. I, I, I would even say for myself is, what, what, what is the negative? That's what I mean, I can only Why see, have it? I can only see that this would help yeah. a lot of golfers. I don't really see a negative towards this width of soul. Is that a bit short? Yeah. Just a little bit short, that's all, yeah. There you go. Pops and stop again right at it. Apart from, apart from me distance control, everything's fine. Right, so um, well, I mean, no, no, I, 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 it's right at the flag. I, I, I'm, I think we're trying to, do you think it's the soul, that, the look or the name? But I, 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 I'm, it's almost like I was trying to find a negative and I just can't. Yeah. I think it performs great. It's definitely, you know, the, the, the look of the you know, visual on the high toe. If you're used to a high toe, then it's only, I think it's only adding to the performance. Yeah. There's nothing. I mean, for me, to be honest with you, and again, I don't know the, uh, I don't know the logic about it or why they might do it, but um, I'd almost like to see it in in more lofts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Definitely. That, yeah. It is. I think that's probably will come, and if they, they add more lofts, they can take away the name, and then yeah, <laughs> drop that. Big <laughs> drop one. the name. Well, they are. We forgot a negative. Yeah. The name. It's a it's a big negative. We we'll both agree on that one. Yeah. Right, okay, so we've had to take cover. It got a bit grim out there, and uh, mind you, these change rooms are new and very nice here at Conway Golf Club. But anyway, we're going to do a very brief assessment because I think we've pretty much given you enough feedback out there on the course. Uh, I'm going to ask you at your level, first of all, so what, what, what's your overall verdict? Positive. I yeah. think at you know, my level, I thought luck initially was, you know, it doesn't change. You laughed at it. Down. I, I laughed at it. Yeah. I did. I, don't, I thought, what, what is this? But... Uh, performance wise fantastic thought it was really good across all sections you know we played some tight lies we went in the bunker yeah. in the rough 
thought it was great. Yeah, and I think again, I'm going to back that up. Really, I'm not going to go on too much on this one because, and so from my level, again, uh, an, an average golfer, as they say. Um, exactly the same i found the width of soul a real positive it helped me uh, rather than hindered me in every situation i found myself in and i can't understand why it's not an option in more clubs and like i said for me on more lofts in this and whether it develops i don't know i used yeah. a cleveland cbx wedge which had a similar sort of um yeah you love that don't you? i yeah, did yeah, yeah the same principle wide yeah. soul seemed very difficult to not get it right not make a hash of it I, that's say. what i think taylor made or will then Hopefully, we'll offer more loft options. Yeah, loft options in that because you Definitely. can't see a negative on across the whole. No, really good negative. Uh, we're both gonna like the name again. Comments down below. What do you think of the name? Are you put off by that in any way? You put off by the looks? And again, my uh, opinion would be. Go out and give it a go, go out and try it. If you're struggling with your wedge game, any part of it, then this might give you a bit of a helping hand. Anyway, as ever, thank you for watching. Uh, great to see Lewis back on the channel and uh, we'll be back at it in the weeks ahead and hopefully um, the weather picks up. And don't forget, last uh, mentioned, there are very few tee times, there's not many, is there? No, Lewis? there's literally a couple of spots left okay. for, you know, for one or two. Yeah. Right, so 23rd of September, down here at Conway Golf Club, we're going to find average golfer of 2019. It'll be a fantastic day. We know the sun is going to shine, but there's very few spots left. If you do want to, uh, it's at www.tuplo.co.uk, and you'll find the link there on how you can enter. Anyway, that's it. Time for some breakfast. Thank you for watching, and uh, see you soon.